Well, we're at my favorite location. Uh-huh. Out by the lake, feeding the geese. Uh-huh. Doing all that. And then we stop to talk because it's hot. It's not the heat, it's the humidity. Yeah. Oh, it, really? is, it is kind of humid. Yeah, because the temperature is not, I think, I think it's like 85 degrees, but it feels like a thousand because of the humidity. A thousand degrees, huh? That's yeah. pretty hot. I know. But anyway, it was a topic that I came up with that I wanted to talk about. And we talked about it before, mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, when we first really started getting into um, prepping. And it came up a couple of times, but we never really talked about it, like, I guess, in depth or, like, <clears throat> with seriousness. But we talked about it again more recently and uh, more in depth and, um, you know, with more thought behind it. And it's you, your group or family commandeering a building. And, you know, my thought, you know, at the beginning of prepping, you know, I was all about, oh, let's join a prepper group and live in a community and commandeer a building. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, hold it down and all of sure. this. I was all into that because I was new to it. And, you know, it, 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 seemed, it seemed like a great idea until you really put some thought behind it and all of that. But commandeering a building, and I'm thinking, you know, because you watch a lot of prepper shows and, you know, like The Walking Dead, and they commandeered the, uh, the prison. prison. And then, of course, there's uh, also another zombie show. What is it? Um, Night of the Living Dead 2 with the shopping mall? Oh, no, that wasn't that that wasn't Night of the Living Dead. Was um, that was Dead or Dead, or Dawn, Dawn, Dawn of the, of the Dead, Dead, or something like that, where they were in the mall. In the shopping mall. Not as, yeah, it was like the full-blown mall. And they um, got that, and it was like four people. Uh huh. And you know, I'm thinking now, you know, you got a family of four, uh, two adults and two kids. You know, like a 12 year old and a seven year old. I don't think you want to take over Walmart. No, and this is a question I've I've been asked before. Um, somebody actually wanted me to talk to their group some time ago, like a year ago about that because their plan, this prepper group's plan without you know saying who they are or whatever, was that they were gonna go and if things just totally jumped off, like total SHTF, grid down, been down for a long time, government disappeared, you know, whatever, that they were gonna take over to local Costco. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, and how many people are we talking about? It's like 16 people. And realistically, you're not holding a building that size with such a small group. Not a lot of groups, people. a lot of groups have this concept. They they say, oh yeah, you know, we're gonna uh, Walmart or um, what's the other one? Sam's Club, yeah, Dillon's, Kroger, Piggly Wiggly, or whatever. Yeah, they're like, oh, uh, the, BJ's. Yeah, the food's there and all the supplies are there, and we can get whatever we want. All right, there's a few problems with this. Number one, that building's already going to be empty. It's going to be looted into oblivion if things jump off. So you're commandeering an empty building. Secondly, um, this is not a very defensible position. You're talking about you've got a handful of people trying to control a building that size. Mm -hmm. is not Logistically, it's bad. You have a big group. A really big group maybe you can pull it off if you don't mind all being in there together uh, the, the another issue is the way that the, these buildings are constructed they're not sound structures they're not well constructed it, it's um, builder grade period because they want to do it fast and cheap when they put these structures up when they build these malls these Walmarts whatever they put it together like a um, Lego because I remember when I worked for a municipality and they built a new um, water treatment plant. And the thing went up in like two weeks. They brought, the get, they brought out these trucks and it had these big old slabs of blocks. And all they did was put the blocks together. Mm -hmm. You know, they sealed it together. 
but the blocks made the building and then you know they put the the installation in the insulation sorry installation insulation in and the walls in and you know they ran the wiring but it's 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 just like um I mean, it's not even good, solid concrete. It's not brick. It's these, I, I, I don't know if it, um, it's like a form of stucco. Yeah, it is stucco. And they just put it together. They piece it together. Yeah, and that's what I was going to say is like you're looking at studs and stucco. Is anybody with a, with a decent sized vehicle can run right through the walls of any Walmart or mm -hmm. any supermarket, period, if they can't get through the entrance. If somebody realized that, they could punch a hole in anywhere. So it's just not a bright idea. Plus, even if it's been looted out, okay, you're going to have people still coming to that location constantly because in their mind, okay, Walmart, there might be something left over there. Yeah. Costco might be something left over I can scavenge. And if you're in there and you drive them off, even if the building's empty, they're going to find somebody and come back because they're going to think there is something there. Yeah. That's something to think about. So a building that size, logistically, it's just not a good idea, especially for a small group. I guess the idea is also they think they're going to get it early and then have all that stuff to themselves. The whole town is going to come there. Are you prepared yeah. to fight off the entire town trying to loot that location? I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's a good way to get killed. What about, because, um, and these are just some, places I have thought about like like I said at the beginning mm -hmm. um I you know I used to walk by places and like okay a school because you know you have like the classrooms you got the cafeteria you got food in there I mean granted the food is not gonna last that long but what about a school I think a school is a place that you got to be careful with because people are going to come there to vandalize it People. And it has a lot of windows. Yeah, it's got a lot of windows and a lot of bad memories. The, uh, places like that. <laughs> Pe people hate school. They hate school. School, the library, courthouses, places like that. Police stations sound like a good uh, location, but they're also locations that somebody might sit there and say, you know what, I'm going to burn this place out. Mm -hmm. Just because they get a grudge. They're, they're targets. Hospitals, bad idea because of what goes on there, especially after a long-term SHTF, it's probably going to be a pit of disease. Um, one good possibility might be a church, mm -hmm. and I mean an old church. Every community's got that old Catholic church that's like 200 years old that's made of like two foot thick stone blocks. Yeah. The, the, they built them that way for a reason back in the day. That's a very uh, fortified position. I mean, a lot of them, they got battlements, they got super thick walls, they're stone. Oh, they might have that bell tower that you can use for a lookout point. Yeah. Problem with that, though, because, you know, there's, there's always going to be some issue. In that type of situation, people are going to want to uh, congregate. They're going to want to come to a church for whatever reason, even if it's just for comfort. So you'll have that to deal with. Mm -hmm. You might. But every town has that old building, you know. It yeah. doesn't have to be a church, but they've got, once upon a time when they used to build them solid instead of just builder grade, they, there's that building in town that's got walls that are like that thick that nobody cares about. When I lived in Topeka, there was a bunch of buildings like that and a few houses like that. They, they, look, like, uh, they look like old forts like old battlements or something. If I was going to fortify a fire position, it would want to, I would want it to be a defensible position and something that the average person is not going to feel drawn to, if that makes any sense. Like mm -hmm. I said, the church itself is a, an old church is a good choice because of the way that a lot of them are designed, provided that there aren't so many people around that they're going to come there. Yeah. Uh, if there aren't that many people around, you might think that uh, a mall or a supermarket or something is a good idea because there's a reduction of people anyways. But if you also remember from that film, uh, they made a good point. That mall was very quickly overrun by a small group who realized that they were in there. 
Mm-hmm. You, you know the zombie film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 there was yeah, there was like what three of them in there. It was. It started out with like four or five. Of course, two or three of them got killed, and then by the end, it was like yeah, two. Yeah, I don't people. remember the whole thing, but I do remember that final scene. Mm -hmm. They had done something that led. They a had a helicopter. And they were insistent on taking this helicopter somewhere. The, oh no, the girl was insisted on being trained how to use it. Yeah. And, and so like a fool, they somebody did. Somebody spotted that. Cause they were there for like months. Yeah, and then some like a uh, couple of trucks and a bunch of motorcycles, 20, 30 people came, broke in, tore the whole place apart. Yeah. So it, it doesn't take much. You've got to think, can I defend it? And are people going to be coming around? And how many people? Because again, if you're just a family of four, two adults and two kids, you got to think about, okay, we got to have a constant guard. Yeah. We got to ensure that the doors are secure, um, stuff like that. So is the building too big? I also thought about like, if you go to an office park and you know, they have like a single building like a doctor's office or a lawyer's office or something like that the building might be you know it's a good sized building but it might be small enough for a family of four to yeah. secure you secure all of the doors and the windows and you have a, a place in the middle with no windows especially like a doctor's office you might have a center um exam room where you can crouch down in and hide in you know stuff like that if you're insistent on taking a place over because you might live in an apartment building or trailer park or just in a neighborhood you don't want to be in or a house that you don't want to be in so you think it's a good idea to take over something else maybe that'll be something small that a family of four can defend you know yeah so think of uh, limited access mm -hmm. limited windows yeah and defensible depending upon how many people there are and preferably a building that is thick enough to resist being raided keep in mind your modern home bullets will sail clean through it the way yeah. they're constructed sheetrock is not stopping a bullet mm -mm. you know shingles are not stopping a bullet you you shoot at someone's house it's going to go all the way through and out the back door and into somebody else's house the, the way that they're constructed. So how well is it constructed? Can it be fortified? Does it have limited access? So on and so forth. There's a lot to consider, but taking over a, uh, taking over a mall or a Walmart or a Costco or a supermarket or something like that, to me, just doesn't seem plausible for a lot of reasons. And also think about the building. Is it a building that would normally attract a person? Yeah, like, like I was saying, that if even if the Walmart's empty, Costco's empty. People mm -hmm. are still going to come there thinking they can scavenge. Yeah, but I mean, you might be, you might have like, like almost every city has like that um, shopping center or that office park and there's no offices in it. And, you know, that might not attract people, you know, if you go there mm -hmm. or a lawyer's office probably won't attract people or something like that. But like, a hardware store that's going to attract people um like he said the walmarts even a convenience store a gas station because people are going to think okay gas it got some food it got water and i there. might find something yeah you yeah. might find something but if you think about an, an office building people are going to think oh there's nothing in there but computers and paper there's nothing i can use yeah and and that and that might be true it might be nothing in there but if you just need a place to stay and hide out it might work out for you you know if, if there's something that you just feel like you need to do you need to commandeer a building yeah and i worked for a building like that in boston where there was um there was nothing on the first floor mm -hmm. nothing just a, a single stairwell, uh, a single stairwell in the back and the front, and a single stairwell in the back on the second level on the other side because the parking was one up. Mm -hmm. And it was like the building was on pillars and then here's your offices. So you only have two ways in and nothing on the first floor anyways. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah, and then if you, like I remember I worked for a, a place and it was in a, it, it was in a side of town um, where it was a lot of industrial parks, but then it was like two buildings 
at the head of the street across from each other. Both of them were abandoned, overgrown with trees. Nobody ever went there for no reason. You didn't even look at it, you know, because it was overgrown with trees, uh, grass as tall as the building almost. You could barely see the building. A place like that might be good because everybody knows, okay, it's nothing over there but some uh, old building covered in bushes. And keep it looking like there's nothing there. Yeah, don't cut nothing back. Keep it looking like a dump and you won't attract nobody. Yeah. But yeah, anything else? No, I guess that about covers it. Mm. I, th I hope that answers the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if your group is planning on taking over the local Walmart, might want to reconsider it. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> and if that's it, then what more can I say but stay frosty, folks, and thanks for watching.